Pimienta negra recién molida. We are making tacos al pastor. Yes. So, guajillo. Then, I think I forgot one. Chile ancho. No, sorry, these are morita. I'm looking for my ancho. I can't find them. count again. So we have chiles guajillo, ancho, chipotle, morita. Then we have our very spicy chile, arbol. Wow. But we're not going to use these yet. First we're going to toast these. You don't have to do this, I do it. Now we're preparing the chiles for the adobo and for the salsa. So we're gonna need half of this onion, white onion, for the adobo sauce, and then the other half for the salsa. So. Go crying. It's too early for this, you guys. Ah, 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 ah. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. And it flies everywhere. The faster it goes. Ah. Okay. So I don't normally do this with the other recipes. We're gonna devein these. We're gonna take out the seeds so it's even smoother. This chipotle smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. All right, I'm gonna do this over the sink because it's gonna be easier. I'm just gonna slice these into strips. Now, what is next? So I'm gonna take half of the onion All of these beautiful peppers here. Chiles. Three, four. Laurel or bay leaf. Chipotle from a can. We use one dried one, but we're also gonna use one from a can. Pimienta negra recién molida. Some orange juice. And pineapple juice. Ooh, this is the magic right here. This is the magic. Yeah, and it's more liquid, I can tell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. Did I say I was excited? Because I'm excited. Check it out. I'm doing this more for you guys so you can see it. So, I also could not find boneless pork. So, this has a bone in it, but that's okay. We'll cut it out. No, I'll cut it out after we cook it. So if you think you're gonna have leftover sauce, don't contaminate your sauce by hands on the raw meat, hands in the sauce, vice versa. Mm. 
And now these are going in the fridge. We're gonna start preparing the tomatillos. And now cilantro. So, garlic is going in here. Stay a little bit longer. All right, so now what should happen is that our oil here has a garlic flavor, right? We will take our very spicy chiles, the arbol, 50 grams or something. I'm just kind of guessing. And they're done. Uh, my onions, though, are taking too long. This is the part I forgot. So I'm taking the tomatillos that we charred. The liquid from the pan. Don't forget that liquid. That's gold. Let's finish this cilantro. Oh, I love cilantro! Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at her. Mmm. Mmm, I love pineapple. I love pineapple. I love it. Okay, so I'll give you a quick recap of what we have. In there, we have tomatillos that have been charred, white onion that's been charred a little bit, chile guajillo, morito, and charred garlic and arbol, the spicy stuff. Now I'm gonna add some salt. I didn't even smell, I had it super far away from my face and the vapors are still strong. Damn. <laughs> this is, this is gonna hurt. It smells so good, you guys. Oh my God. You don't have to do this, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna grill some of the pineapple. The star of our show, the Al Pastor. And now, the tortillas. For your tortillas, you do like a golf ball size. cilantro. The crazy, crazy spicy salsa. Pineapple, ananas, piña. I'm gonna go take a photo in the other room because I'm all out of counter space. Oh my God, are you guys ready? Oh my God. I can tell. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm never leaving the house. Oh my God. No way. Oh man. It's spicy. Hello. 
Aggressive eating. I'm gonna start the process of the next dish. I'm not done, we're not going anywhere. The salsa I did isn't as spicy as I thought it would be, but I added a couple extra peppers, so it gave it a really, really good flavor. And I'm gonna make, if I have enough eggs tomorrow, huevos rancheros with this. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a heart and subscribe to my channel. Or the squirrel will get you. Goodbye.